Hello and welcome to Game of Social. My name is Matthew Namir and let's play Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior playthrough. Am I walking the wrong way? I am walking the wrong way. And today we are going to hand in some of our final quests that we have and get some things done. Let's speak to this bitch. Hello. I found him. Yep. That poor acolyte. Mm. He got torn up pretty badly in there. He was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. That sounds worthwhile. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. Thank you very much. I'm sure we can head there shortly and do whatever the hell we gotta do. So, how much experience? We've got an hour left on our experience boost thing. And it is still double XP weekend as well. Um, so, every episode so far in this series has been double XP weekend. I'm making the most of it. And that's the best thing to do in a situation like this. I gotta head over here as there's something I need to do. Apparently. And that is here. Oh, look at that. Yay! Item modifications. Good, I got some bits and pieces. Let's do a modifier of, the, of my lightsaber. Where is it? Hello. Lightsaber. And I can put this on here. And I can put that on there. Yeah, it makes it even stronger. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Much, much stronger. That will make me even more of a beast when I have to go fight people. Which is exactly what I want, to be honest. It's exactly what I want. I want to be as strong as can be. As strong as can be. Uh, so... As places of higher learning go, this one has got to be the scariest. Oh, no, beastie. What happened happen to my Tauntaun? I don't he's following me anymore, is he? No. My Tauntaun's gone, apparently. So i got to go up to the third floor, they say. They do. Is this the third floor up here? Oh, hello. Watch out there, you're gonna get squished. It's a lift. Up we go then, please. Let's do this. I gotta get, hand over the stuff to that bloke's dad or something, I don't know. Hello. you. And down here. Yeah, oh, hello. What's this all about? The Dark Council, nice bit of lore object. Nice. You there. You don't belong here. You stand before the chamber of the Dark Council. And this floor is off-limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. Hmm. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself, and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died right at the entrance of the tomb. Pathetic indeed. Of course he did. Every moment of his life existed only to mock me. I will keep his bones to remind me of my shame and to focus my anger. But you have done me a service, and such deeds should be repaid. You have brought me pain and torment. I will return the favor. My son sought a relic I placed in the base of a cracked statue, deep in the tomb. This crystal will release it. Now go. I gotta go back there. Son of a bitch. Fine. I suppose we have to go back there anyway, because we have to give that, um, some food to that ugly thing. I do not want to jump down there, because I'll probably die. This is, uh, hang over the edge. Boom. There we go. Come on, vet. Come on, me. That's it. Well done. Good job. Good job. Good job. Jump. Good jump. Whee! Ow, oh, that hurt me. I shouldn't play around on the lift. It's a bit it can be painful. Anything else to do? Yeah, I might as well go speak to the little Barris now, I suppose, and 
tell him the news of what had happened, the fact that I got a lightsaber and I kicked the crap into the other acolyte person thingamajig and things in bollocks. Dang it! Bollocks! Okay, maybe not. In that case, I'll go this way first. <laughs> I fell off the edge. Dang it, my bad. My bad. That uh, should not have happened. Hello, you. What do you want? I'm training slaves to beat the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Hmm. Have you heard of a creature called Serun? Serun? You know of Serun? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seirun's special meals. What is Seirun exactly? I've never seen anything like it. Its people come from the planet Bis, but it's lived on Korriban as long as anyone can remember. Seirun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Seirun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures, the bones and blood of dead acolytes. Mm. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal and became strong in the dark side. You fed the corpses of dead students to that thing. The sludge we feed to the slaves and the two Carter wouldn't have sated, say Rune. And bodies pile up quickly here. It was an easy way to dispose of them. When I saw how twisted Seirun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. We could. Or I could give it the meal it wants. Aid Seirun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin mm. hunting Acolyte. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seirun. Before I sent Seirun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. Serun helped you. It adored you. How can you be so ungrateful? If I thought I could keep that thing, I would. I tried, but Serun isn't what it used to be. Poisoning it would be merciful. If we do this, Serun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Serun needs to become strong. It needs its food. Serun's not loyal to the Sith, not to me, and certainly not loyal to you. But I have a degree of loyalty to the creature. If this is what you insist on doing, I'll give you what Serun wants. We can learn something from its strength. It's strong in the dark side. <laughs> Perhaps. This should be what you need. Feed it to Serun, and the creature will have the strength it desires. Let's hope we're not making a mistake. Oh, I'm sure we're not. I'm sure we're not. So now we can go and speak to the Barris again. And try not to fall off of the bloody ledge. Um, but at least I got the special meal, so I have to go back to that place anyway. And hand it over. But for now, I'm going to clear up things here. Because that's the best thing to do. That is the best way to proceed. Hello. you. Jump over there. And go in here. You murderer! My father was a staunch traditionalist and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Who told you I killed your father? Everybody says so. The whole place knows you killed him. And now you have to die. Come at me and I will kill you too. You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! Really, bitch? You want to take me on? Take him down then, shall we? I have my own slave helping me as well. Easy peasy, bitches. They dead. Not even a scratch. I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Vemran was not in my chamber, as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He did. Now his carcass feeds the tomb's beasts. 
Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I am your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Kos. Meet me at the Citadel there. Tell the Emperor I said hello. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Dromund Kos. Oh, I will. So, what do we want? as a special reward. I'm probably gonna go for the gold, I think I think the gold is a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the gold. The uh, amount of experience points I got from that though, I've leveled up and I'm monstrous. Look at that. Right, so I have some um, goodies for her. So character where is she? Here she is. Boom. Gold you are. It makes it look a little bit different. You know, it's all good. Sport rifle, I don't really want sport rifle. Um, so is there anything that is good for me to wear? I don't think there is actually anything good for me to wear. But I've got to check it all, I suppose, and I make sure. Uh, how about that there? Nope. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything, she can wear some of this shit though, can't she? So which one's better? That's um, better, 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 better. Twenty, twenty. She can wear this. Boom. She can wear this. That's the invalid slot. She can wear that. There we go. That is I'm racing sixteen. No, she's better there. Um, that's I'm racing twenty. There's not much else I can actually give her. Can I give her any gloves? I don't even got any gloves. That is a shame. Never mind. Let's do this. Although, what I can do is level up. Like so. Right, so now um, I know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to jump down here and try and kill, kill myself for starters. There we go, problem solved. And I'm going to go down here. There is something that I need to do. There is a quest that I have been postponing. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. because um, it can be quite a tough one. I'd rather do it alone, and I'd rather do it when I'm higher level. Like I am now. Hello there, thingy. Kick his ass. Boom, boom, boom. Yay, I managed to get Cody's entry. Woo! I'm stuck. Kill it. Kick his ass. Good stuff. Well done, Vet. You're doing me proud, kind of. Jump in at it. I missed it. How did I miss it? Bitch, hit it down to the floor. Kick his ass. Come on, Vet. Let me shoot it. Well done. Any others at all anywhere around here? Yeah, there's one over there. Couple over here as well. Come on, vet, help me out. Okay, that died. I'm not too sure what happened there, but never mind. You can die. Stab it. Yay, more experience points, and I got a nice jacket that's gonna need it. I'm getting plenty of those jackets though. Anyway, let's do this. Get the bone. Now I gotta head back. I'm just gonna. Do my thing a minute, bonk, 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 there we go, problem solved. And I gotta go over here and dunk it in here. Soak in the skull. Yeah, let's do this. Hello. How you doing? You wanna help out or not? Thank you very much. Seems almost dead already. Stab it. 
problem solver is dead. I got a nice technician's coat. Um, actually, that might be good for that. I think you might like this vet. Because... It'll make it stronger, I think. Um, uh, armor racing. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No, that was crap. That's better. Yeah. I thought it'd be better, but apparently not. Apparently not. Never mind, we're done in there then. That's another thing done, which is always good news, isn't it? Perfect news. Hello there, you can speak to me. I heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the Red Stain Skull, and I must say, I am pleased. I completed the rite then. As so many Dark Lords have before you. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. But although your nature is clear, your destiny is obscured to me. All I can do is offer a small gift, so that you may prepare yourself. I am most thankful. There is nothing to thank me for. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself. And you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. Thank you very much. And I have some leggings that I do not need. But I got experience points. I'm going the wrong way again. This way, that press is leveled up. So yeah, that is awesome. So, now, there's nothing else to do around here. I've got to head back outside again. I gotta head back outside and uh, kneel down yeah, and go back to that place to give the beasties some food. And I gotta do something else as well. I gotta claim the relic. I don't know, some sort of relic. Whatever that is. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's faster or not, to be honest. It might be downhill, but I don't know. What level is he? I'm higher level. I'm super higher level. Hell yes. He is quite cool. Uh, so, I've done her quest. The silly bitch. So I haven't got to go in far into here, I don't believe. Um, I think by now, though. I think... Nope. Log, Codex, uh, Planets, we are almost all done, we have one last thing to do, and we would have done all the all the um, Codex entries for Korriban, which is Just really like good. It, yeah, shut up. Still ultra creepy. Yeah, I bet it is. And, uh, yeah, let's beat this thing. You return, you have meat. Shiman smells it. You won't have any complaints. Excellent, excellent. Seerun's hunger is sated. It feels its power growing even now. It feels the strength of the Sith, like in the Academy. Seerun thanks you. Take your reward. Take your prizes. Treat gets Seerun collected from the caves. Remember this kindness, Seerun. Remember the Sith who helped you and that you don't need to kill. Seerun will remember when Seerun grows hungry again. Yay, there we go. I have some warrior braces. That's quite cool. I may as well wear those. The long ones there. Yep, yeah, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. So there we go. And all i got to do now is head over and find that thing. Whatever that is. Um, this last little thing over here. Whatever that ends up being. These guys can die though. I feel like killing him. Come on, kick his ass. He's dead already. Shock him. Problem solved. But that is all we have time for in this episode. I will see you in the next one as we finish up what we need to do on Korriban and head onwards. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you then. Hey, right, you there. Hello. There you are. You've attracted more than Darth Barriss' attention, young one. I'm Lord Loki. I'm called upon to promote a specially promising Sith. And you have been deemed worthy of my guidance. 